stuff pretty well handy so I don't have to go looking for you. I don't have a lot of glue up time. And enough as long as you don't dilly dally around. this old sanding disc because the glue won't stick to it. The piece won't stick to it. You can move it around like a lazy Susan. Yeah. That yeah, works out pretty okay. special clamp because that's not just a standard pipe clamp that looked like it had a quick clamp to it. Yeah it is and I, I'll be damned if I can remember where the hell you buy them at. But one of the key things is to make sure whichever clamp you're using you put it pretty close to the center so you're gripping it the same way, same pressure. Right. So that there is just snug on there so that's why I use this. is nothing more than just a paper press. But then I snug it down. Well, it doesn't need to be that hard because the joints are what we call perfect. So that's it. I was ready to go. 
So again, you've marked all those block lines on there so you know the orientation of up every time so everything stays it's in just the system. Something, yeah, it's just something that I've seen done. A lot of folks don't bother to do it. It don't matter because this is just the way that I do things. And they, they work out good for me. I get good results. So I'm just offering them perhaps another way of doing something. That's all. Well, I had to learn from somebody. We all do. Well, <laughs> just trying to pay back old Lauren, man, you know, uh, 20 years ago. Crazy son of a gun, he hooked me. But uh, if you're going to be hooked on something, this here is pretty okay. Yeah, it's better than the other stuff people get hooked on. Yeah, okay. leave that screw handy so I can tighten it down. Now are you just using like tight bond glue or? Yeah it's just regular tight bond too and uh, in the summertime you have to step it up a little bit because it, it, dry, it dries rather quickly. So you have to step up your game. Tight bond three, my experience is that um, it sets up a little slower. But once I glue this and, and have, it, have it glued up for just a few minutes is all is all I really care about because it's not going to go anywhere. I think I have three of these clamps and I I, I use them. I use all of them so I make. By the time I get done ready, by the time I get it ready for the fourth one, the first one's already been under long enough. Doesn't have to be too tight, just enough to keep it in place.
whack the glue because if you do, then you're not going to set it right anymore. That's how I want it squared up. I want it squared up to the faceplate, not to the coals jaws. Those things are a little flexible. Right. So we'll spin this gently. Gently. See, again, now where I'm looking is right there. Right at that tip. Right. And as long as that tip isn't doing this fishy shit like it's swimming upstream, well then you know it's square. And with that piece of wood on there, it obviously distributes that vice that I use this tailstock for. Correct. To put put more, more pressure, pressure on it, yeah. This here is where you do your alignment. Make sure it's okay there. If you have this too tight, it will sometimes cause this here to move when you're trying to turn it. So you have to be aware of that. But it's a little bit of a type of pattern I suppose you could say. So you could have it go like that or you can have it go like that to where you have which way do you like it? I like it the way it is. You like it the way it is. Where it steps back. So this line here obviously has to line up with that line. Correct. Because all of these are exactly the same with it. It just has to. You almost have to be trying to make it not fit properly. So, that's good. That's been on there long enough that I can do this with confidence. Because if you push, remember we just glued these up earlier today. Right. If you put a lot of pressure that way, you're gonna pop that son of a gun open. You don't want that. It's like kindergarten. <laughs> Except Mrs. Greenleaf isn't hovering. No, I am. No, I wouldn't <laughs> let anyone hover. I won't ask you to go. I'll just make it uncomfortable for you to stay. So you, I'll, I'll let you make the decision. I'm going now. Well, got this a smart rascal. So if you look at it, it looks pretty crappy with all of the glue squirting around and whatnot. But if you don't have squeeze out, you don't have enough glue. So. You can go overboard, but I'd rather have a too much glue than not enough. Right. You just got to take and clean a little extra glue off, and then when you start cutting with the uh, chisels... As soon as I put the knife on there, it disappears. all that goes away. It doesn't matter yep. a bit. <clears throat> but you see, with this here, you can cut this all the way down to only an eighth of an inch wide to give it a nice little rim kind of a look. Right. It doesn't have to stay this, this thickness here. This one can go thinner and this one can go thinner. These other ones, they're stuck right there.